Hey, how's it going, guys? You look amazing today, and you are amazing. Welcome to Student Palace TV number 14. <laughs> If you like this video, please give it a like and also subscribe so you don't miss a tip on getting to aviation. It's been a while now since I uploaded my last video and with the virus going on right now, I just wanted to say take care of yourself and also care about the others. Today, I wanted to talk about how to get your seaplane rating and for you to become a seaplane pilot. I got my seaplane rating about two weeks ago in Florida. All I can say is it was amazing, it was so fun and you definitely should get it. For you to become a seaplane pilot, you have to pass a check ride, which is an add-on, so it's very quick. The aura is quick, you don't need a flight plan or anything, and then you go fly. And the flying is focusing on the seaplane operation. But first thing I would do is to search for a flight school where you want to do your course. Most people recommend you to go to Florida because of the landscape. You can fly all year round, but you can get your rating anywhere if there's a seaplane flight school near you. You don't need to go all the way to Florida. The seaplane rating course is about three days. So day one, day two, you go to class for your training. Day three, you do your check ride. The cost is about 2,500 to 3,000. Depends on the school and what plane you fly, how many hours they give you. For me, I did four hours training and then I go to check ride. If you're interested, the flight school that I went to is Jones Brothers Air and Seaplane Adventures in Florida, near Orlando, and I'll link their website down below. Just one reminder that most seaplane flight school they want you to book it in advance because most of them are booked like one to two months out. Now that you have chosen your flight school, you have some time before the course starts. I will recommend you to study first because the course is only three days. It will be not much time for you to study for the oral. I'll link a FAA seaplane handbook reference guide. It's free down below. The book like gets you right into seaplane operations easily and and everything on the oral they ask you is on that handbook so you'll be good to go now jump into the flight training which i was most um, interested in because i didn't know what to do for the flight portion before i start you can look into the acs but i didn't do that for the flight portion on the training you'll do like five different takeoffs and landings on the water and also a step taxi plow taxi and engine out but you don't do engine out and plow taxi on your check ride i'm not going to get deep into the takeoffs and landings because your instructor will teach you but those are um, normal crosswind confined area takeoffs landings and rough water and glassy water takeoffs and landings here and now once you pass your check ride you are officially a seaplane pilot so congratulations to you when you pass your check ride I hope this video helped if you're looking um, to become a seaplane pilot and get your seaplane rating. If you like this video, please give it a like and also subscribe and also follow me on my Instagram because I'm more active on there. And take care at this time and I will see you and your awesome self next time.